Hi and welcome to another Decred bi-weekly news update. I'm your host Exodus, here to inform you about all things Decred. Lots of exciting stuff going on like the new voting service provider implementation. VSPD is voting service provider software that will bring a huge improvement to the privacy of VSP users, and by extension, the security of the Decred network. It will be much easier to use because there will be no registration, no required emails, no CAPTCHA, and no redeem scripts to back up. VSPD enables both the ticket purchase and the fee payment to be mixed in the same anonymous set as solo tickets when staking through a VSP. This means VSP users will be able to participate in mixing via the CoinShuffle++ protocol to have anonymous staking transactions. Be sure to read through the full thing at blog.decred.org. Development progress is of course being made in other areas of the project. Mixed private transactions are coming to Decrediton. Decrediton's code base was also made more readable and there were some UI tweaks. Politea's development continues on to include the request for proposal feature, shortened URLs for proposals, arrow key navigation for attached images, and progress towards reviewing Politea with no JavaScript. The DCR pool version 1.1 release candidate is ready for testing. This release includes reworked payments processing, refreshed UI, higher efficiency via DCRD's work notifications, and a host of smaller improvements and bug fixes. Pre-alpha testing for the DCR DEX has begun and everybody is welcome to participate. There's a guide on GitHub on how to set up the DEX on testnet, which I'll leave in the video description. There's still a good chance that the mainnet DEX will launch this summer. The DCR data attack cost page now takes circulating DCR into consideration. On Decred Docs, the Verifying Binaries page was overhauled to explain to users how and why they should verify binaries. A Redeem Script page was added documenting its purpose and why users should keep it safe when using a VSP. The Q&A from Consensus 2020 is now available on YouTube. It's a really great list and here's one of my favorite parts. You know, because Decred can modify its own consensus rules, we can go, oh, hey, we missed something, or oh, there's this way to improve this. All we got to do is make a little consensus change or some change to our network. We can make those changes as we go. The ability to make changes in a fair, permissionless, and decentralized manner is, in my opinion, Decred's strongest feature, allowing the protocol to continuously upgrade without obstruction from people who don't actually hold any coins. The head of Coinbase listings mentioned Decred on the Trading Places podcast. I think it's advantageous to understand the projects that are doing well, um, you know, that have a strong developer community and some momentum. If you could only buy one crypto asset for the next 15 years, what would it be? So the, <laughs> the easy cop-out answer there is Bitcoin. And then the, the second easy cop-out answer there would be Ethereum. But like I said, that's, that's where it gets interesting. What, what's after that? Um, and... No. <laughs> Maybe uh, I think that that uh, Decred is really interesting. So Decred is getting a lot of traction recently. Uh, they have a pretty passionate technical community there. Um, yeah, I, I think Decred is a really interesting project. All right. The Bitcoin Twitter account with over 1 million followers tweeted out a video I made back in April making fun of the Federal Reserve and their ability to create wealth out of thin air. Is that tax money? that the Fed is spending? It's not tax money. We simply use the computer to mark up the uh, size of the account. The video ends with some lovely classical music urging people to use decentralized credits as an alternative to fiat money, pointing to decred.org. I had initially assumed that the person running this account didn't watch the video until the end, though they later began tweeting the exact Voltaire quote that was at the end of the video, so I'm not really sure what to think. Anyway, thanks to the Bitcoin account for the free promotion of the Decred project. I created a Decred full node tutorial using the Raspberry Pi. Full nodes are the backbone of the Decred project. By validating and broadcasting transactions without relying on third parties, they help keep the network decentralized. Each full node added to the network adds to its security and robustness. If you'd like to help the network by running your own node, I'd check out this guide. It is geared towards new users. Crypto YouTuber Ivan on Tech mentioned Decred on his new show. What do you know about Decred? I mean, it's a very important project that has been around for quite some while already. And uh, all in all, personally, I don't, uh, I'm not too involved in Decred. But if you guys are interested, we could do a tutorial on it as well. 
but it's very key in terms of the growth they've had. I mean, the community is developing, the product is developing, and uh, they are offering a lot in terms of uh, rewards, in terms of you investing and staking, but at the end of the day, it's better that we do a full tutorial on them if you are interested. The YouTube channel Decred Society released videos explaining how to buy Decred and talking about the 21 million coin supply market. So when you buy one Bitcoin, you're buying one twenty-one millionth of the supply. And the same with Decred. If you buy one decred you're buying 121 million for the supply and this one here if you buy 4761 xrp you're buying one millionth of the supply now just kind of let that absorb and that's that's really where this value prospect comes from Richard Red released a Decred blockchain analysis that dives into some really interesting data including how proof of work miners and contractors spend their DCR he says roughly 23.5% of DCR paid out to contractors is staked, 23.7% goes to a known exchange address, and 27% remains untouched. For proof-of-work miners, his data says 60% of their DCR ends up on exchanges and 10% goes towards staking. Lots of cool information in this, I'd really recommend reading the full thing at blockcommons.red. Decred contributor Amaruni released his research piece, Why We Need Decred, An Inclusive Approach to Sound Money. This article articulates a framework to understand how Decred is a unique cryptocurrency which builds on the economic properties of Bitcoin. A short summary really doesn't do this justice, so I'd highly recommend you check it out by going to medium.com slash Amaruni and read it through. He concludes by saying our money is rapidly transforming from physical to digital format. Once all currencies are digitized, online money will decouple from offline borders, Bitcoin has captured mainstream attention as a decentralized digital inflation-proof money, and Decred extends this design further. If Bitcoin is a digital sound money, Decred is sound money with voice. There were two new Decred-related podcasts released. Radar from Radar Group was on Decred in depth to talk about his group's work on the project and his motivation behind Planet Decred. Uh, we spoke off record about Planet Decred. You know, what's your motivation behind it and what are the plans for that? Yeah, Planet Decred has come about, initially it was just me, Radar, then it became Radar Group with all these developers I was bringing in. We want to create more resiliency in the infrastructure so that we have less points of failure. Our plan is to do this in a way where it still maintains compatibility and we can still have crossover work happening between the different teams. And, and this feels very similar to what I remember happening with Bitcoin before, where there was a group of people who all understood the power of this technology before other people did and there was this feeling of inevitability that, you know, the, the cat is out of the bag. This has already been invented. And those who understand this know that it's just a matter of time for the idea to spread, for more people to understand it and for it to grow. It was really tough to choose a segment from this podcast because the entire thing was so insightful. I'd recommend listening to the full thing. Privacy advocate Seth Simmons was a guest speaker on this week's episode of Rough Consensus. Decred system is really interesting and it's I really honestly stuck around after the first few months I got into Decred. I heard about the privacy stuff, some rumblings of it, um, and I stuck around to see what would happen there and I, I'm really excited because I've been surprised to see the adoption. It's been really cool to see the, the metrics around how many people are, are actually um, mixing using CSPP. Now let's take a look at Politea. Radar published the Planet Decred launch proposal asking for $22,000 US dollars to fund the Planet Decred ecosystem in order to further decentralize the Decred project's development infrastructure. This would include the Planet Decred website, Decred Power, Matrix Server, and code management for the Radar Group projects such as mobile development. Radar updated the proposal to say it will not go up for vote after listening to community feedback, saying it should be broken down into other proposals. I'd highly recommend listening to the most recent Decred in Depth podcast featuring Radar to better grasp Planet Decred's goals. The Decred Bug Bounty Program Phase 3 was published by Degiri to further continue incentivizing developers to find vulnerabilities in Decred software. The bounty.decred.org website acts as the main source of information for those looking to squash bugs. There is a 5,000 USD budget to maintain the bounty website and deal with any administrative and writing work. The budget for payouts is capped at 100,000 USD because the various vulnerabilities cannot be predicted. For the previous year, there was a total of 60 submissions and payouts amounting to 3,475 USD. Comments thus far have been positive, acknowledging the importance of having a bug bounty program in order to have highly secure software. The Decred on-chain proposal passed with 86% voter approval. Over 15,000 votes were cast with a voter turnout of 38%. 
The coin story proposal failed with 12% approval and a 34% voter turnout. The Decred Latin America Marketing and Events Proposal No. 2 passed with 61% approval. In total, over 16,000 votes were cast, which means a voter turnout of 41%. The Latin America proposal really goes to show how important every single vote is in the decision-making process. The DCR on-chain research phase two proposal from Permable Nino passed with 74% approval and a 35% turnout. Now let's take a look at network stats for the month of May. Here are the community growth stats for May. The community experienced typical growth across most platforms as compared to previous months. The staking 30-day average ticket price for May was 141.5 DCR. The locked amount was between 5.59 million to 5.8 million DCR. In May, the Treasury received 13,594 DCR and spent 19,153 DCR. As of June 8th, Treasury balance is 630,983 DCR, which is about 11.4 million US dollars. May's hash rate opened at 357 peta hashes and closed at 386 peta hashes. The hash rate peaked at 541 peta hashes. Thanks for checking out this week's bi-weekly news update. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new information. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at decred.org.